Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski exam in UK and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. So I am back with another adult NMC Oski video for you. And we, if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the IM injection because there has been some changes in the marking criteria. I have done last video was on subcutaneous injection, so this one is on IM injection because I just want you to show you how to give IM injection without using the rescooping method, single-handed rescooping method, because that has been the change recently and there has been lots of fails on it. So I wanted to just quickly talk you through that, and of course I will be showing you a little video clip how to actually draw up uh, your uh, IM injection without re-scooping and how to give it. So that's what we are going to cover in today's video uh, according to the new marking criteria. So let's get started. So you know I am injection is 12 minutes in your exam. I am not going to show you the whole station but I am going to show you the part where you are going to draw up the medication and give without re-scooping. So you know you will still do scene safety, do the curtain, clean your hand. You will be given a prescription chart like this, a normally set in community, something simple like this which is on your screen. And then of course you are going to check the validity of your prescription, you are going to check your ID of your patient and your allergy details against your prescription chart. So you will do that first. Of course, you will take consent, you will check the ID and allergy against this uh, document uh, and then you will go ahead and check the validity of your prescription and then what they want you to do now is uh, get your apron on and prepare your equipment. So you will clean your hands uh, again and then you will just uh, get check the uh, expiry dates on all your things and the, check that you got the correct drug, the expiry date, the name, the dose and also you will check that that this drug is the same drug as your prescribed drug. So that's really important that you do that. After that what we're going to do because we are not going to re-scoop. So what we're going to do is going to put the apron on and gloves on and then you're going to uh, clean your injection vial and then you will draw up your medication with the drawing up needle. So you will uh, clean your injection vial for 30 seconds, let it dry for 30 seconds and then you will uh, attach your syringe to your uh, drawing up needle and you will draw the correct amount and then you can take any extra air out on the top of the sharp pin. Once you have done that, now we're gonna not going to re-scoop this needle because that's not allowed. So that's what changed. So what we will do is now we will carefully will verbalize that I will go to the base of the needle without touching the tip on the base of the needle. I will take it off the syringe and put it into my sharp pin straight away. Then you will attach the giving needle on it and then leave the shield and the cover and the safety shield in place uh, and then you because it's, it's already have the shield on so it will stay clean so you just put it in your tray. Now you will then take your gloves off, keep the same apron, take your gloves off, clean your hand, expose the skin and look at the skin what's happening. You could do that in the beginning of the station to just uh, make sure there is no signs of inflammation, redness, or edema, anything like that. And if you're happy with it, and then you will clean your hand, leave the skin exposed, clean your hand, put new pair of gloves, and then give the injection. So I'm gonna show you that part there, how to draw up the injection without using the rescoop method and give. So I will be back once you watch the clip. Right, my gloves and apron are on. I've already done the ID check, allergy check, all is done. I've checked my medication, I've checked all my consumable, I've read the validity of my prescription and I checked the drug expiry date and checked that it's the same drug as my expired drug. So that's all done. So I am just going to now show you how to draw up according to new marking criteria and give it. Okay, so our drug is already checked. The first thing is we need to clean our vial of medication. So we're just going to clean. Uh, with, uh, we will clean it for 30 seconds and once by motion 30 seconds and let it dry for 30 seconds. While that is drying, I will put that into the domestic waste in a minute. I can open my syringe without touching the key parts, which is the front of the syringe. And I will then open my uh, drawing up needle so I'm going to open my drawing up needle again using aseptic non-touch technique. I'm going to connect the two. 
and uh, I will keep that domestic waste here now. So we'll take this thing in, in exam. They don't give you glass vials. They only give you plastic vials. So we just can keep it here. So we're going to now draw up our medication. According to our looking at our prescriptions is one mil. So we're drawing up one mil here. Okay, and we're going to take the air out on the top of our sharp pin. If we got a little bit of air, I have uh, just a little bit more. Okay, right, so that's our tiny bit more air. Okay. Right, that's our one mil of injection ready. So we're going to now clearly tell the examiner, I will not be touching the top of the needle. I'll be just uh, uh, picking it from the base, carefully putting it into my sharp pin straight away. And I'm going to apply uh, the giving needle, which I've just opened. And I'm going to apply non-touch technique. Just going to uh, put that on firmly. So that's ready in my tray already so we're going to keep that ready we're going to change our gloves going to put this into clinical waste clean my hands and going to apply another pair of gloves and we are now going to before I put another pair of gloves I'm going to keep it here I've got clean hands I'm going to inspect the area so um, is it okay if I just inspect the area before I give you injection? Yes. Okay, so we can see here uh, the area looks, uh, there is no inflammation, there is no redness, there is no signs of infection or any edema uh, or any redness. So it's fine, so I'm happy to give it there. So I'm just going to clean my hands now and apply a new pair of gloves. Okay, so I'm going to apply fresh pair of gloves so I can then give it with the fresh pair now because I touched the patient skin before so we're going to clean our hands put the new gloves on and we are going to now give the injection so for I am now the marking criteria says to you that you got to clean the skin so we're going to clean the skin we're going to get everything ready this still has the cap and needle I haven't taken it off so this is shielded okay so this still got the shield on so I haven't done that so I'm just going to clean the area uh, for 30 seconds and let it dry for 30 seconds that's done gonna put it in the clinical way straight away okay we're ready to give now okay so sharp scratch coming okay so we're just going to take the safety shield down take the cap off we're going to stretch the skin and we are going to insert the needle at stretching the skin two to three uh, fingers below the chromium process in the deltoid muscle so stretching the skin inserting the needle at 90 degree i will leave one centimeter visible as you can see and i don't need to draw back because it's a deltoid muscle so we don't need to draw for blood and now we can give it over 10 seconds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's given i will wait examiner 10 seconds before i come out so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm going to take it off straight away uh, and then i'm going to put the cap on okay so i'm going to now put the cap on with uh, uh, so we're not going to do it with finger so we're going to do it against hard surface here or hard surface of our trolley we're going to cover the needle safety lock is on straight goes in there and then okay um, there is no bleeding if there is bleeding then i will apply a little pressure with a go swab and then apply a little spot plaster on the top if they give you one otherwise you can verbalize it this will go into the clinical waste bin okay so your injection is given i am going to stay be staying with you for about 30 minutes uh, and if you uh, develop any reaction after that please ring your gp so that's fine i'm going to clean my hands and 
going to take my apron off clean my hands and then i should make sure i document signature date and time for my given drug and that's i wanted to show you okay so i hope you like the clip and uh, it makes it clear for you how to not contaminate your giving needle and how to not use the rescoop method for drawing up medication and it makes it more clearer for you what you need to do according to new marking criteria so you do not end up getting a fail because it's a very very common fail and there has been a lot of fails in the exam center with this so i hope you like the video and if you like uh, like the video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and uh, you can also visit visit us on oskinus training at outlook.com and also email us on oskinus training at outlook.com or visit us on oskinus training.com and also you can check out our google reviews on our google ad page what the other nurse has been saying about our training and i will soon be back with another video for you and bye for now